Put a nice sight for that. If you want a DVD, you show me when you shout it out for Life Cycles. Greg, you're a neighborhood friendly superhero. You know, in Life Cycles. Chilling, doing the, the chatting on a DVD. I haven't been around in a while. No, no, I've kind of been around. I'm, no, like, no, I'm like, when you when you don't know it's me, it's always me. Like, if there's a girl on it, you were like, oh, I love that song. Yeah. That was me. Yeah, you're great. No, yeah, that's see. I'm glad that you stayed down with that because um, you have a world of your own, actually. You know, you say that you haven't been out, you haven't been out, kind of like, at, you know, out there in the sense of whatever. But your market is, you know, larger than a typical face that you may see out as of now. You know what I mean? So, um, I thought it was imperative to actually get you here because of, you know, you know how they label music. Oh, definitely. So definitely. They, they sort of like crunch you in, a, in, a, in an underground type of, of atmosphere. How do you feel about that? Um. Whack. Um, you know, just from perspective from things like, you know, I've actually handed, because I, you know, if you look at pictures and then you see me in person, you kind of might not know what's me. So I've actually handed my stuff out to people and they're like, ah, I don't listen to, uh, to that backpack stuff. I'm right. like, what, what makes you think that that's what it is? Right. Um, so it's kind of perception without actually being able to listen to it. Of course, of course, of course, of course. I, I found myself in the alternative section. <laughs> you, and you know, you know that's amazing because... Because of that song I did with Pearl Jam. Right, right, Bob, right, right, right. Which I didn't do. So, I don't know why. Right. Wow. Wow, wow. But, but, so, how do you see... Now, and cause I'm, I'm going to deal with both aspects of, of just, you know... Um, genders or whatever, you know, male, female or whatever. How do you see the game right now as far as, uh, you know, being a female artist? Because you are an artist or whatever, but I'm just going to keep on the female and then transition over. Um, I, I never thought at it, thought of it like that until people started bringing it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was kind of funny uh, that I realized that I would kind of have to roll with it. Right. Um, Interesting enough, I mean, I, I think the advantage points are all there. Mm -hmm. You know, I can, I, there's a whole range of topics that I have to talk about, or a whole range of things that I can do that other artists don't have the same freedom to do right. because they're male. Mm -hmm. So rather than look at it as, um, you know, something that takes away from the artistry, it's definitely something that lends to it. Um, and the other fact, it's nice to have you know, the response from uh, from fans be like, you know, you, you're top ten or top five. Right. It doesn't matter male or female. Right, right, so right. So kind of breaking down that wall and not having it be best female and sees best. Right, right, right. Um, so, I, hey, if I quit tomorrow, I kind of feel like I've, I've done my job. How about that? How about that? How about that? Um, how do you feel about not actually, you know, having your face out there, but, you know, having that, because uh, you have a market that just, you know, to me, you know, like I said, I, I do homework or whatever. So, you know, of course, you will always want to look at a, a, a face that's constantly out there or whatever. But, you know, as a businessman or whatever, I want to delve into your world also. I want I want some of the, some of the particulars that, you know, go out and purchase your CDs or, you know, may download your music also. Um, you know, like, you're not just a typical artist that may be, you know, New York bound. Like, you'll, you'll go across these to do a, a show or whatever. How do you feel? Like, how, how is that? You know, like... Um, well, I think it's, it's important for, for artists to realize that, especially putting something out, to not think of it like, okay, this is definitely going to be my target market. Mm -hmm. um, unless you're going to be smart and be like, I'm doing this project to go towards this target market, market it that way. Um, everything was always, you know, the world is open to you. If you, if you can't make money over here, go make money over right. there. If you can't do this right now, look at another hustle that you're good at. Um, learn how to license your music out or do voiceovers or get into, you know, just anything else that you could possibly be talented at. You don't just have to run. Um, and for me, I started doing things not putting my face out there. Right. Um, because I didn't want people to look. It wasn't about, hey, check me out. It was about, okay, listen to the music. Um, and, you know, from when I was like 16, 17 years old. And, you know, as things evolve, and I evolve as a person and, and understand marketing, and um, be like, okay, I like, I'm, I'm a chameleon. All right, the time. right, right, right. You know, um, I think the quote on OK Player the other day was like, yes, it's true, we have no idea what Gene looks like in the <laughs> You know, bro. You wear a lot of hats, though. I mean, I see you, I'll be like, damn, is that big? But I know I was just standing next to her five weeks ago or whatever. They get confused was... at the office. They don't know. <laughs> I swear. 
And I see you standing out there. I'm like, nah, that ain't her. So I see, I'm like, oh, shit, that is her, actually. So that's intentional. Um, yeah, definitely. I think it's it's important to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, to be able to be that versatile with, you know, your music, with your art. Just be a well-rounded person. Wow. Like you don't have to be the same all the day. You can be sexy, and you can be, you know, the battle MC, and you can be the introspective MC, and you can do all of that as well. You should be just as a person. Like you don't just stay one way all fucking day. That's and if you do, then you just fucking kill yourself. <laughs> you have no purpose. So as far as, as far as artists in, in this day and time, I mean, who are you feel who would you like to do a feature with? Besides your team. I don't even like that. Wow. <laughs> Tell it, chill, hold up. Nah. Um, I, I, I like to do things that are um, very outside of the box. Like, right. I, I like um, people definitely just for their voices and sound. So give me some, give me some, some, give me some, let you know. Um, a wish list? Yeah, a wish list. That's what I want, a wish list. Um, I've always wanted to work with Bjork. Wow. You see how you see that approach? You see, come on now, keep on talking now. Give me a few um, others or what have you. Going like female list. Pink, think pink is real dope. Um, Tom York from radio. Wow. Um, she TV called me on radio. Uh, you know, but it'll go from there to like I, I spoke to Rage the other day. And this purely as like a hip hop band. Right. That was crazy. That was crazy. I wrote her and she wrote me back. She was like, wow, I'm a fan. I was like, that right? Come on. Right. <laughs> but see, you took that non traditional approach. You wasn't even afraid to, to delve in and say, you know, uh, an artist that quote unquote the hip hop scene may not know of or whatever. You know what I mean? Like like you said, you're universal as opposed to just be a pigeonhole in a sense. So that's a plus. That's a plus. I mean, good music is, you know, good music. How about that? Uh, I, I appreciate good music for what it is. With, it makes you, oh, you know, from, hey, Bjork to, I would love to do a song with MLP. <laughs> that's good, that's good. I think I'm doing something with um, Prodigy for this album that he's working on right now. So that's like, you know, I'm, 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 just, I'm, I'm a fan of really good music. I hear that hot stuff. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I see, you know, the, from the chameleon to the, you know, to the intellectual to just the broad enough music already. Now, now, like I said, you do a lot of shows, right? Um, I mean, I know you're worldly in a sense. Um, give me some market, give me a market that uh, you were surprised to actually perform in and they just like knew your music. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily surprised. Um, what was interesting? Germany has always been real interesting for me. For some reason, I always do really well in Germany. Right. Like, top of the charts and, like, wow. um, magazine. I have no idea why. I like your money, Germany. I really like it. You know you're unique. I don't particularly enjoy Germany on a whole, because um, it's Germany. But, um, yeah, it's it's sometimes surprising just to, I mean, especially overseas. I mean, they just have love and appreciation right. for certain things that, right. you know, we sort of take for granted here. I mean, I'm, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna beat you in the head. I'm asking, you know, um, about an album. You, um, you working on an album as of now? Um, the Genius album is uh, something that we did about four, almost five F years ago. Right. Um, which is interesting, and, and putting it out now, people don't realize that it's that old. Is you know, make timeless music. Also, if you're not <coughs> doing that, kill yourself immediately. Um, <laughs> So we're happy to see that. So what we did was went back and um, Mike and I discussed four uh, just album covers that were important to us, like uh, you know the duets made album right. covers, so four classic covers. So we redid um, "Takes a Nation of Millions," um, wow. "Only Built for Cuban Links," um, the Black Sheep cover, right. and the Dust Effects cover. So <laughs> we and you know this is kind of a situation like know your target market. We're doing it in sort of a limited edition. Right, so right. we know we're not, most kids aren't going to pick up on this, but right. for those who do, and what's really sad is that we actually look like Drez and Long. That ain't hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just really sad. Wow. But for those who pick up on it, and, you know, just for doing something creative and having the, the freedom with Blacksmith to be able to do that. Right, is, right, right. It's a real cool thing. 
take so, advantage of your So when was that presented to the world? This is just coming out now. With the first thing is our um, Love Thirst <coughs> and a song called Number 8. We just shot the video for Love Thirst a couple of days ago. Okay. It was very, very cold. And um, it's a very different video for me. So we figured it would be applicable to the song, which is a tad bit racy. I mean, hey, you know, that's what you say. You know what I mean? But I'm a grown ass woman. So How about that? You see, that, that's what I'm saying. This is when that chameleon come in over there. You see, you went from sweet to me. Sir, you I will punch you in the face. Yeah, you see, you just got vicious on me right there. You know, I tell you, well, you wear a lot of hats there, girl. But you know, what I mean, is there any other thing that you want to, you know, um, present to the world? Because you were early. Um, yeah, that's coming out. Genius album's coming out. Uh, Blacksmith TV is definitely on. Um, name of the next album. Hey, you don't even know this. Um, prom night, which uh, I've been in the middle of recording for prom night. years, but uh, change the name because there's a movie coming out called Prom Night. Okay. Yeah. What's Prom Night? Um, prom Night will actually be the first real full-length release that What's we'll be doing now? during, huh? <laughs> and now for my next trick. Now for my next trick. <laughs> see, see, see. You know, she's. Yeah, that. Um, tons of stuff. Um, I just started. You don't even know about this. Look, uh, and she, and she's, and she's, she, she, you put that camera on, she going. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just started Switchblade, which is a um, film company, so I'm going to start doing um, a lot of comedy shorts. Okay. And uh, just kind of starting those on MySpace and seeing how they go and then developing the website from that. Everybody, become incorporated. It's not that hard. Go online, Google tax ID, getting your own tax ID, become a corporation. Invest in yourself. If you have a camera, if you have your pro tools, if you have whatever, please, please, black people, flip your own money, please. So listen, listen, please. before we get, I, I see, I like this plea, I like this plea, but listen, regarding that, uh, this, this, He's a yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the, regarding this, um, regarding uh, the comedy, I, I hope it ain't just a typical, you know, you know, with our black folk. Do you think? Here. Come on now, give Why me people do this? No, and then no, black no. people do this. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, because see, white people will hold a CD like this, and the black people will hold a CD see, like this. You see, you no. see, I'm liking this. The many faces. It's not that <laughs> at all. Great. Okay, I, see, so when I'm, if I, when I'm, when I'm, I'm hearing this, and I'm anticipating something like totally, you know, no low pressure. Far fetch. No pressure now. Thanks. <laughs> but uh, Barack Obama will be in all of them. All right. So how about that, man? So I appreciate you. you. Won't, though. How about that? Give me a little something before we go. If you could, let me hear something. Because I've been giving my music away for free, and pretty much for nothing, and because, and by the way, also, not even incorporate yourself, please make a petition or do something to try and bring back, not just the female MC, but the category of best female rap album in the Grammys. We boycotted when there was no rap in the Grammys, so can we at least do something about this? Right. So for that reason... Quest needs a prize. Because Gwen Stefani has been rapping her ass off. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much people don't know about that. So for the sake of that, I do this for everyone. No, we need some support back from y'all. Who, me? Everybody watching. Shit, I got a female movement going on. Why don't y'all send me some tapes? I've been trying to get females at Females rapping. I'll put it up on my MySpace. I'll do and that. And that's how we'll get it started. When I, I spoke, can hear me around all the I spoke time. to you. I forgot your publicist without. She said, you ain't doing nothing. I've been at you for. Yeah, all right. You don't keep eyes. Because I have like 90 albums. <laughs> done. I'm trying to tell you. So I'm an avid fan, so I'm there with you. How about that, Jane Craig? How about that? Boycott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Support right. smart black people. And even the stupid ones, because they need our help most of all. Well, Jane Craig, give me a few balls or something. Yeah, something that's what you got. Do. Those are your bars. Come on. That's it. Oh, all right, so I'm going to... Go buy the music and right. maybe I'll give you some after Say no that. more. <laughs> all right, thank you. Many faces. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 <laughs>